Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to repurpose your Instagram reels to any other platform using Canva. So if you're not currently repurposing your content from Instagram or TikTok or wherever you're creating your short form videos, um, it's a good idea to do that. Because if you're taking the time to create a piece of content, you want to get it in front of as many people as possible. And if you are doing it, maybe you're doing it via a third party app to remove the watermark or in some other way, screenshotting the video from the app itself so that it doesn't have a watermark. There's a lot of different ways to do it. But what I'm going to show you today will simplify this for you because sometimes when we use a third party app, it takes away from the quality of the video or sometimes our audio becomes a little bit out of sync when we do it that way. So I'm going to show you today how you can do this in Canva without losing the quality of your video, without having a watermark show up on your video, and without having your audio be out of sync. And it'll make it super easy to just automatically have the video saved to your phone with no watermark so that you can easily repurpose it wherever you like. Okay, so ready? Let me show you how simple this is. So on my phone, I have the Canva app. And you can do this on a desktop as well with Canva, but I'm going to first show you how this works on a phone. So if I open up my Canva app and I hit the plus sign to create a new piece of content and I select Instagram reel, and then I just slide the bar on the bottom over and select Instagram, it's going to connect to my Instagram account. Now, if you haven't set up your Instagram account, if you haven't connected your Instagram account to Canva yet, it's very, very easy to do that. And I'll show you that in a second. But since mine is already connected, what it does is it pulls up everything in my Instagram account. So I have a brand new reel that I just uploaded to Instagram, but I haven't posted it anywhere else yet. So I can simply now just click on the reel, it pulls it up, and then I can just click to download it right here and click download. It's going to save it as an MP4 video and I click download and it saves it to my phone. That's it. Now it's on my phone and I can easily go and upload it to TikTok or wherever else I want to put it because now it's just on my phone and it doesn't have a watermark. So if I come to TikTok and I hit the plus sign, now I can come to my phone and I can just select this video and there it is. And it doesn't, it has the audio intact. It has everything intact, no watermark, and it's ready to go. Boom, to put it right into TikTok because it's saved on my phone with no watermark. So that's how easy it is once you have your Instagram account connected. Okay, so if you've not yet connected Instagram to your Canva account, let me show you how simple it is to do this. And you'll, I'll also at the same time be showing you how you can repurpose your Instagram Reels using Canva on a computer rather than on a phone. So if, if I'm logged in on desktop here, all I wanna do is type in Instagram Reel. We're, we're gonna create a new Reel, right? So we select Instagram Reel and then create a blank Instagram Reel. And then from here, so I already have Instagram connected, in which case you'll see it shows up here at the bottom. So I would just click that and it'll automatically load all my Instagram stuff, which is a beautiful thing. Once you have Instagram connected, that's how simple it is. If you don't have it connected yet, you'll just click on apps. And this is where you can see all the different apps that connect to Canva. And you would just click on Instagram right here. And then it'll just ask you to connect to your Instagram account and then you're connected and then it'll just um, bring in your Instagram feed for you. So once you have that done, when you click on your apps, you'll see the apps that you have connected here. So I already have Instagram connected. So when I click on it, it loads my Instagram feed. And then all I have to do is drag my last reel into this window, fit it in, and then it's ready to go. It's got the audio, it doesn't have any watermarks and it's ready to be downloaded. So then I would just click share and download. And so in this case, I would be downloading it to my computer because that's what I'm on right now. But if I wanted to download it directly from Canva onto my phone, then I would just open up my Canva app on my phone. It'll automatically be there because Canva syncs directly from the computer to the phone. So when I open up my Canva on my phone, this video will, will be right there in my projects and I can just download it to my phone and now it's ready to be repurposed. So you can do this from a desktop or a mobile device, super simple. Um, I think the easiest way to connect to your account is on a desktop, so that's what I showed you here to connect to your Instagram account, but it's super, super simple and this is a great way to repurpose your content. I have um, some other content about short form video and about repurposing content and the importance of that and, and different tips and tricks to do that and you know 
different tips and tricks about short form video in general. So you can just, you know, peruse my YouTube channel or just search for Amy Star Allen Reels on YouTube and you will find some of my other content on this topic. I hope this has been helpful. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. And I'm also going to leave you a link below to some of my free resources that might help you in other ways with your online marketing. So feel free to grab any of those that suit you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.